Bill from Hollow's Corner, 101, back out of Walgreens. I did say I was going in for a pack of Morrow. And I said I was going in for a Monster Energy drink, but they didn't have the type I like because the other ones are. <coughs> so I got a Starbucks. He's a good tip. And I'm going to chug this sucker down right now. I don't know why I was keeping that empty pack of cigarettes. That was stupid. Oh, that wasn't good. No, they were carbonated. They're not carbonated. What? They spray all over the place. Thank you, Starbucks. I'm not having a good day. Day just started, and I'm not having a good day. I'm not having a good year. Yeah, that's right. Right behind me. There you go. There you go. Very good. This is why I normally back into places and don't pull forward like I am now. <sighs> Starbucks does make a mean coffee drink too. Mean is coffee drink. So Stephanie said to me last night, she said, your videos are funny but you are definitely stressed out you're right i am definitely stressed out that's what these videos are kind of there for kind of sort of they weren't really supposed to be there for that actually they were supposed to be there for me to just kind of rant out my crazy uh crazy antics my beliefs things i used to believe in that i'm weaning away from things that i i don't know and they're more toward geared towards just my daily events, I guess because it's um, taping while my daily events are happening. But trust me when I say this, that's not what I really intended it for. They, they were intended for uh, conspiracies and things like that. Because that's, that's interesting to me. How, I've said it before, we have Nibiru, we have Elenin. Elenin um, was named after Leonardo Elenin or something like that. Uh, turns out the guy doesn't even exist, and Elenin stands for Extinction Level Event. Nibiru is near. I think I've told you that a million one time, too. So like, yeah, Bill, we know. We fucking know! So I got to a customer. I always get my customers that I get, 90% of them anyway. Some of them are real nice people. Um, 90% of them anyway are people that it's like, wow, it's amazing how you my, you're my customer. You're into the same sort of things I am. Whether it be stock car or trucks or, or this stuff. Uh, so my customer yesterday, him and I are talking about conspiracy theories and, and uh, Nibiru. And uh, the guy was just completely into it. When I showed him the video from the Antarctica uh, base that, that, I don't know if it's the Americans or Russians or who the hell it is that has base out there looking up and seeing this massive thing now he was like wow that that's that's real you know that's through a telescope but yeah it's real you know the reason we can't see it from here is because I, i've showed you that on my videos too because we are on one area of the globe of this ball that's floating around in space and um, they're at another so they're able to see the sky that we can at certain times of the year that's too loud I, I think interesting. I would love to be able to go to that base. Not as long as it was warm, but it's not as Antarctic as it's, it's ice cold. Uh, it would be bad if it got warm, but I think it's actually getting warm because things are starting to melt down. We have to turn on our axis, and I told them that. So like, really, we are? I said, yeah, well, that's actually common knowledge. They're not, they're not hiding that. They're not explaining it, but they're not hiding it. We don't just normally, naturally, out of nowhere, tilt on our axis. What we know is north, it's not north anymore. It's like uh, northeast or northwest, I guess. I don't know, it's north south. That's very good, that's good. Spin me around the cornfield and I'm lost. Excuse me while I use my Afrin nose spray. Afrin, clear you up. I am probably the most insane person that I know. I'll admit it. My uh, my mind can jump from one thing to another. Believe it or not, I. 
have a really high, uh, really high IQ. Let's just start testing that. I don't know how that could possibly be. I don't know if I got lucky that day or what. Well, both of them really high IQ. Or, or I'm a special needs person. <laughs> and my IQ is high for that. I, I don't know. They didn't really uh, get into that with me. I can't be that clever, I'm still sitting here in this dumb board. You know what it is, is I get bored of these these places. Uh, I've said this before. I hated working at Mr. Ruder at the end. And I miss working at Mr. Ruder now majorly. I really, truly, truly do. And Russ, my friend Russ Dixon said to me, I uh, saw so Sam, my manager over there, Sam said, so many people think the grass is greener on the other side. I am one of those people, I will admit that. I always think I can do better someplace else because I see people doing it. I just am not one of those people, so I should just keep my mouth shut and stick to what I know. Stay, stay, shh, stop. Don't, don't put your family in harm's way because you're a moron. Sometimes you gotta eat a little crow in this world. But now I have actually gotten myself into that hell that I was thinking the river was about because this place is half ass backwards. Oh my god. You could afford to hire, see how I jump from one thing to another? You could afford to hire all these people in the office. I have so many office managers, it's ridiculous. I have uh, two service managers, two sales managers, two office managers. I mean, uh, yeah, they're the same people with different titles, but my lord, how can you keep calling that phone? What are you? Are you, uh, uh, if you're the service manager, then why do we need him? Why'd you hire your father as a service manager? Well, he's the, uh, uh, you know, he's the other service manager. That doesn't make sense. Who's the service manager? Uh, you know, you, you tell me to do something, and then I hear it from him and her. And then they tell me to do something, and I hear it from you and him. And then he tells me to do something, and I hear it from you and her. Well, get together. Figure it out. You guys are making an awful lot of money. I mean, the owners should be making money. It's their company, but embezzling for your own needs is not the right way to do it. And let's face it, people, you are embezzling money. When you go out and say, I'm buying a laptop for work, and it, because my other laptop has got an actual house fan blowing on it to keep it cool, and you buy yourself a freaking Apple, and it never comes, it comes into work when you come into work and leaves right with you. That's not a, a uh, item that was bought, truly for work, it was bought for yourself, written off for work. And that's wrong. It's just wrong to be able to do that and get away with it. I'm sorry. I, I don't get... I wouldn't do it because it's wrong. So those, I don't like when I see it done. This is me on. I think I need medication. Stephanie told me last night that you know, I should take a leave of absence. And uh, any doctor in the world would give it to me in a heartbeat because my mom passed away. You know, I had something really traumatic happen to me when I was 15 years old, and I don't really talk about it because I don't really talk about it. And I never even took a, you know, time off from school. I never saw anybody for it. Everybody told me I should, and I, I didn't. And I, I was mentioning this on a couple of them, uh, one of my other videos, that I started to use that anger that was growing inside of me. I think it was yesterday, as a matter of fact. Uh, to my advantage. But I probably should have sat down with someone before. But then again, I probably would have been heavily medicated right now, and I really don't want that either. I've gone through a lot of shit in my life. Not to say that other people haven't. I, I know. I know you have. But I have gone through a lot of shit in my life, and, and I'm by myself through the whole thing. I know I'm married, but I don't... I don't. My wife is one of these people that, that likes to sweep things under the rug, out of sight, out of mind. So I don't bring things to her attention because she'll just kind of sweep it out of the rug. I've had a lump right here for about a year now. And I know it's getting bigger. And I won't go to a doctor and get it checked out because I don't want to hear what it is. And at any time I'll say to my wife, does this feel like it's getting bigger? She'll quickly touch me. Oh, I can't feel anything. Well, babe, if I die... Part of it is because I want her to say, go to the doctor. I want somebody to say it. Even though at the end of the day, I won't go anywhere. But just the knowledge and the 
feeling that somebody cares enough to say, you need to go to the doctor, I love you, I don't want, you to, I don't want something to happen to you. That's comforting enough. I know my wife loves me, I'm not saying she doesn't. She's just one of these people that speaks things in the world. So do I. We don't have insurance. We did, uh, um, I'm sure, I'm sure she will. I don't know if I believe in, in, in past lives. I do. <laughs> I shouldn't say I don't, because I do. I do believe in past lives. Uh, even though, it, biblically, I guess it doesn't, you're not supposed to have past lives, but I believe that we do. I think that maybe I was very well off and a real scumbag in a past life. I also believe that my wife is my soulmate. And I believe that we've either maybe found each other at different times and, uh, you know, lost each other or haven't found each other until now. But I, I, I believe souls are... I believe in the soul. I might not believe anymore that there's just one person up there running things, but I believe that there, there's a soul. And I believe that soul gets, maybe not for everybody, but for, definitely does happen. It gets split in half and sent out, and you are sent to find your other, the other piece of that soul. And maybe you can't rest until you find it, or maybe you have to keep finding it over and over again, or maybe, uh, I don't know, who the, hell, who the hell knows? I guess we'll find out when we die, and then if, we're re if we are reborn, we forget anyway, so who cares? But maybe that's why there are prodigies in this world. Because they were, uh, you know, trained in that in the past life. So, um, shit. That's right, the last time this thing was right here. Maybe they were trained in that in the past life. So, um, sorry people, I'm looking for something. Here. So when they reborn, they already have that gift that they remember. I had a this. You know, that's, I, I think that, I really do. Yeah, I had a this. I, I, I actually believe that, that that's what prodigies are and geniuses are, is they were trained so well or they tra had training in the past life or past lives that when they come into this life, they are already gifted in that, that area, so they are called now a prodigy or a genius or um, what will you, come on, go. Give me a second to sip on my uh, coffee drink from me. Starbucks. I remember that name. Trying to multitask here and I'm not achieving it. Small meadows. Small meadows. Roads? Where we're going, we don't need roads. What we need is roads on the maps that have been here forever. I mean, come on, Google. Come down this road. Hey there, small meadow. Small meadows. Where the fuck are you, small meadows? Morning glory. What the fuck is going on? What is happening here? Last time I thought it was right here. Billy's getting angry! The voice is very nasally again, very high. Hi! Nice truck. Yeah, yeah, don't worry about me, come right out. You have a stop sign, but <laughs> you don't need it. Dick. No, I don't believe in stop signs. I'm going right through it. What the fuck is this small nose? Hey, Bumblebee! Transformers, more than me. That was a because uh, that was my uh, my idea of transforming. Wow, where the hell is this moment? Oh, that's right, that's right. I went back up and down, up and down, up and down. Meanwhile, I'll totally have to get down here, you know, around the corner. So I, I hope that if everybody's looking at me laughing. What the hell? You can't laugh at yourself. You know, you may as well be crying in the Reagan way. Oh, Reagan, you're the man. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. It's mighty white of you. If 
like that? Mind your white That wasn't meant to be racial in any way. It's something my cousin used to say all the time. To be, a, to be sarcastic. Because up north... Because now I have to explain that. Because everybody's going to think, oh yeah, you are racist. No, I'm not. Uh, up north... Um, the rich white people are uh, a bit snooty. So if they wave you on, my cousin Rich used to go, thank you, it's mighty white of you. And it was just to mock rich white people. Small meadows, here we go. And it just completely sounded racist that time. And let me tell you, that's, I am not. Actually, I am. I'm very racist. But I'm racist against everybody. I'm racist against people who are assholes. Can I, can I be with that? Okay. <laughs> All right, uh, I am pulling up to my, uh, shit, am I? Pulling up to my customer's house here. I think this is it. Yes. Um, this is Bill with Harlow's Corner 101. I'm going to upload this to Harlow's Corner until I can figure out how to get my uh, Harlow's Corner 101 on Facebook. Somehow I accidentally did it with Harlow's Corner. I think something in my email. Anyway, this is Bill with Harlow's Corner 101. Saying see you on the flip side.